fingerprints or any process? I'm just here, like I told the young lady, I'm here to um, document the building and grab a couple of FOIA request forms from you guys. I'm sorry. Um, picture taken and it does say it out here. Yeah, I know it says it right here too, but okay. there's that's not a law. I'm sorry, but I'm What's your name? What's your name? We do not accept the law states that you have to. But you're in the wrong building. See? Absolutely not. This yes, is a government no. building. This is not a government yes, it building. Is. Sir. It, it says it all on the web. <laughs> no, it's not a government building. Let me show it to you. Sir. I can show it to you. No. Oh, you don't want to, you're not interested in seeing well, it. I'm telling you, this is not. This is people, we don't give anything here. We don't give you well, anything. Well, I said you can't record it. What I was trying to explain to this young lady and this young lady as well. Uh, we have a First Amendment right to record in here. Plus, not only that, sir, I'm just, just going to okay. I'm just explain to you. Um, plus, it's in CFR, which is Code of Federal Regulations, that allows me to do this in the public accessible areas. And real quick, Officer Watts it is, 108. I just want to know from any one of you officers, from you guys from the Norridge Police Department? Yes. Okay, so do you guys have a contract? that can come on this property and enforce federal regulations. That's all I want to know. How you doing today, sir? You're, you're the deputy chief? Yeah. How do you pronounce your name, sir? Shober. Shober. Yeah. Shober, Make sure I want to make sure I get that right. Okay. No, uh, uh, we, yeah, we can. The Tyrant Terminator. What's good? What's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. Man, today we at the United States Citizenship Immigration Services. Uh, this is their application support center out in Norridge, Illinois. Just going in here, get ready to see if they respect our rights to record in public and to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. Let's go see. Just coming in to uh, document, what's your name? You're not allowed to record in here. Really? Yeah. I see the signs, but yeah. um, this is public property. No. No. Just coming in to document and grab a couple of FOIA request forms. That's it. So right away, see those signs that says uh, no recording devices. These items are prohibited in this office. Disregarding this notice will result in removal from the premises. Uh, wonder if they're aware of the CFR that allows us to record. Hello. I'm sorry. Um Picture taken recording is not allowed in here. Why not? Because this is a federal office. That's exactly why it's allowed. Can I? Do, are you here for fingerprints or any process? Well, I'm just here, like I told the young lady, I'm here to um, document the building and grab a couple of FOIA request forms from you guys. I'm sorry. Um, picture taken and not allowed. It does say it out here. Yeah, I know it says it right here too, but okay. there's that's not a law. What's your name? What's your name? You can't give me your name. Oh, wow. She can't give me her name. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing today? I'm good. So can like I, I ask you why are you recording? Do like you have an appointment today? No, ma'am. What, what's your name again? Officer Ramos. Uh, Officer Ramos. Like I just explained to this young lady and the young lady, first young lady that encountered me, I'm just here to document the building and to grab a couple of FOIA request forms from you guys. Uh, we okay. So we don't have a FOIA. We don't have any applications for immigration because this is just a fingerprint site. So okay. unfortunately, we get we give you. No, there's nothing for any of us to give you. Well, I can just fill it out on a blank sheet of paper and no, turn it. No, there's nothing here. So the only thing that we do in this building mm -hmm. is just fingerprints for immigration. That is it. So people who walk in here already have appointments. That's correct. This is a contracting uh, facility, so they don't even have anything to do with immigration. So there is nothing. Well, what we're talking about this the actual the facility the itself. The facility is just a facility for fingerprints. It's a federal facility, no, though, right? No, sir. So, we are not so why did she tell me that? The 
young lady just her not, right there. <laughs> we're not federal. Why she say that? Not a federal. She's a contractor. She doesn't know. Oh, she doesn't society. know. She's not federal. Okay. This is not what, federal. What? Okay. Right. What is it? State? No, it's just a, <laughs> a building. This is just a building that that the the contractors contracting, which so, is renting. So, so what, I'll put it like this. What? Put it like this. What do you? Immigration. Okay. So let me ask you this. What does this particular site offer in terms of services? In terms of services, we offer fingerprints that the immigration has already. Um, scheduled. Okay, yeah. that's correct. So, and, and, and we don't do anything. I'm sorry, I have to ask you to leave, otherwise I will come back. Yes, so that's why I'm trying to tell you nicely, sir. I understand. That right now there isn't anything really here that, that has anything to do with immigration except for people that well, come in for fingerprints. Right, which still has something to do with immigration. Yes, it does, but it but immigration, they already done the services, they pay their fees, they do what they have to do, then they get scheduled. But as far as that, that's the only thing that's, that we do here in this building. Okay, right. I'm well, sorry, like I was we'll just explaining. I'm to ask you to leave. I'm having a, I'm having a conversation. You're yes, interrupting. Yes, you keep recording, so. Well, because I have a First Amendment right to do so. But, yes, sir, you do. But let's step outside if you want to keep talking. Now, well, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm here for specific but, things. But tell me, what are you here I for? just told you I'm here for, to, like, if you guys don't have the FOIA but forms. we don't have FOIA forms. That's great. I can just fill it out on a blank sheet of paper and turn it into you still. No, you can't because we don't accept anything here. We you, you, cannot you, accept The thing is, you papers. have to. No, we don't <laughs> have to. We do not accept The law it. states that you have to. But you're in the wrong building, see? Absolutely not. This yes, is a government not, building. This is not a government yes, building, it is. sir. It, it says it all on the web. <laughs> No, it's not a government. Let me show it to you. Sir. I can show it to you. No. Oh, you don't want to, you're not interested in seeing no, it. I'm telling you, this is not. This is people, we don't give anything here. We don't give you anything. Well, I see a lot of people not. here. Obviously, you guys are offering some type of services. This this is packed in here today. No, I can do better. <laughs> the only thing that we can do probably that can help you that have applications and are more is um organizations. Organization, okay. Community based organizations. Okay. And they do now, offer services. If you do go to them, yes. Then they can, you know, you can say, hey, I want to fill out a FOIA form, da 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 da, and they'll sit, they can help you out. Well, I see that you guys do have like a lot of information that's posted on the wall and stuff. I don't see why I can't just document. Where do you see the information? Like what? Where I see a lot of, like all the, you see the other stuff that you guys have on the wall? That's why I said I wanted to come in and document the building. You already told me the foyers are obviously not. Do any okay, of that great. Thing. So I can still document the building and hike on out. I don't see a problem. There's a. <laughs> I really don't see a problem. You know what? That's their policy. Okay. Is that not people cannot come in with? Um, I see that. I see. I see they have signs, yeah, but but the policy. Cannot, but let that me is their policy. Let me explain to you real quick mm -hmm. about a policy. That policy and the Constitution is diametrically opposed. Okay. Well, it, it really is, honestly. I, and these are not. All right. So no. So that's cool. So if you stand there, do what you gotta do. I guess she's gonna do what she has to do. Because I already explained to you that we really. These people just come here with an appointment. The service that we offer is have them get fingerprinted. That's correct. And then they go home. Well, I'm just we saying do not that. Give any other things to them. I understand what you're saying, but what I'm all I'm saying is, I hope that hopefully you understand this, that this is a government building. It is not a government building. Oh, sorry, do you want me to show it to you? No, I can, maybe the website says it, but this is <laughs> why not wouldn't a you? Building. Why aren't you this interested in seeing it? <laughs> why aren't you interested in seeing it? I can prove it to you. No, it's fine. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I, I, like I said, I want to document the building and. Well, you can't walk around nowhere, so you got to stay there if you're going to document anything because. Cause it's got to stay right here. Stay right there because you don't have any services here. Oh, There's wow. nothing for you to come in here for. But I mean, it's public property, man. <laughs> so I, you know what I mean? Like, it's public. I guess I stay behind the ropes. I mean, I'm, even though I, even though I don't have to, you know, but. You do have to, sir. That's just the problem. You just can't walk in here without, an, without justification. Your justification is just you want to record. That's you cannot document. No. Yeah, that's all I want to do. And, and that's fine. Then you do you. Mm -hmm. They're gonna do them, and police is gonna come and escort you out, sir. I'm, I'm just trying. The to police or FPS. The Chicago Police or the oh, Norris Police, because like I told you, oh, they don't have any jurisdiction. Federal building. They don't. This is not federal. They don't have jurisdiction on this property. This is not federal building. All right, okay, so I'm asking you, if it's not federal, is it state? 
It's a building. From <laughs> so north, you, know, the north you see how that sounds? So. It's not federal or state. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's just it's probably state. I don't know. This is this is just a regular. Well, how could you said. watch this? Watch this real quick. How could you tell me you don't know and then tell me for something for sure something is not something else? This is not federal. <laughs> I know that's for sure. So, come like on said, now. I'm going back into my office. Oh, you have a nice day. Okay. okay. So. Uh, Sure, man. They said Norwich. I don't understand, man. That's a, I mean, they offer services, obviously. Immigration services, federal, government building, uh, public property. And she said something about the FOIA request. They don't offer that. Well, we know how to get around that. We just fill out our own blank sheets of, of papers and turn it into a. I should have came in with some already prepped. Uh, I think I'm going to start doing that. I seen one of the TTA family members actually said that. Uh, I forgot a, a, a TTA family member, the one that said that in the comments last night, man. I think I'm going to start doing that, come in with them prepped. and Then, you know, that excuse, they won't even be able to use it anymore. Excuse me. Young lady, excuse me. Oh, she's now she's being unprofessional now. Wow, she's being she's being unprofessional, y'all. No, you're being ignorant. That's all. I, no. I can help you this Definitely way. Definitely not ignorant of the law. Oh no, yeah, it's ignorant. Okay, being unprofessional though, which no, one is worse? It's being ignorant. You're being unprofessional and ignorant. <laughs> That's what I know pitiful as well why not a grown man can't talk to you <laughs> wow that's a new one <laughs> that's a new one man y'all hear <laughs> she said grown men can't talk to her she, what, what, what they got like a do they have an adolescent working in the immigration building today <laughs> wow. <laughs> How you doing, officer? How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. What's your name and badge number? It's right here. You can see it. I, I can't pronounce it, sir. Don't want to make a mistake. You don't. You are. I don't want to call. What's your name? Well, I, I, don't, I don't need anything. I don't even know why they called you guys here. They haven't signed up. They said you can't record it. What I was trying to explain to this young lady and this young lady as well. Uh, we have a First Amendment right to record in here. Plus, not only that, sir, I'm just just going to okay. Want to explain to you? Um, plus, it's in CFR, which is Code of Federal Regulations, that allows me to do this in the public accessible areas. And real quick, Officer Watts, it is 108. I just want to know from any one of you officers, from you guys from the Norridge Police Department. Yes. Okay, so do you guys have a contract that can come on this property and enforce federal regulations? That's all I want to know. Confused by question. What, basically, you're, you're, do you have a contract with this agency to come enforce federal regulations? If not, you guys are out of your jurisdiction. This is not because a federal building, it is. It is. It is not. It is not. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, it's, it's all. You can ask to leave, so just leave. I'm, I'm asking a question, sir. Charges, sir. You can ask to leave, so just leave. If you don't leave, then you'll be in violation of criminal trespass. They will not okay, so I want to ask you this real quick. If I don't leave, I will be in violation of criminal trespass. You will be arrested because you're in the state of Illinois, the county of Cook, and under the okay. Illinois compiled statutes, okay. you're in violation of criminal trespass. Okay, so under threat of arrest and duress, I will leave under Officer Watts's direction. I'm just saying. So I'm done, for sure. I'm just Telling you I understand. Threat. I'm just saying. You call it a threat. You call it a threat. I mean, I, you did threaten me. You said if I don't leave, I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> it's not a threat. That's the law. I'm okay. Not threatening you. Okay. We're, we're, again, I'm going to leave since you did convey that to me, and I'm gonna go to the um, um, uh, you guys' police department and file some official uh, official uh, complaint. Okay. What's your name, officer? Officer uh, Gobiaski. Go Gobiaski. Yes, Appreciate that. And then, how, where, where is you guys' uh, probation? I mean, not probation, but uh, police department. 4020 North. And it's Watts and I don't know how to say your name. Deutscher. Deutscher 39 yes. and the other officer. Okay. Oh, uh, they said something about um um that it wasn't a it wasn't a, obviously it was they trying to say it wasn't a government. This is government property. This is public property. Um, yeah, public. So I mean they asked you to leave, so that's why 
But I mean, the only thing is, you can't just ask me to leave for, uh, minus a crime. I didn't do anything illegal. That's why you see no okay. signs are attached to that. They you to leave. How am I trespassing? Because they asked you to leave. Right. And you stayed on the property. So, but you have to ask me to. The only way you can ask me to leave is if I committed a crime no. or caused a disturbance. No, if you're remaining on the property. Yeah, you just can't just ask me to leave just randomly, sir. And then you guys are coming here and, and you're not even federal officers. You, you know, if, well, the appropriate person would have been called was FPS, Federal Protective Services. So again, you guys are sitting here trying to enforce <laughs> federal regulations. That's all right. We definitely finna go over to the North Ridge Police Department and file a complaint. Or better yet, can you guys call a sergeant here? Is, is he a sergeant? Okay. What about a lieutenant, man? So I can't request a lieutenant. You don't have lieutenants. What well, about deputy chief as well, right? You, obviously you do, right? Well, I'm just saying that obviously he's making mistakes, so I would need to talk to somebody over him. Well, uh, obviously I've been asked to leave, so I'm on my hike on out, man. And uh, I guess I see you guys over there at the North Ridge Police Department. You said it's it's near? The poor police department is near. All right, appreciate it. Now we're going to get ready to go over here to the North Ridge Police Department and file some official complaints on these three officers. So, uh, we'll see. Definitely we'll see. We already know this is government. This is federal government property, which makes it public property. And then you have, uh, you have officers that are not connected, don't have any contracts to come and enforce federal regulations. However, I was threatened with arrest on camera if I didn't leave. So that's all we would need. You TTA family, y'all already know. I'm on my way over there right now. So we'll see. What you guys trying to do? Hang, hang around, wait till I pull off so you can get my plate? <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They might as well. Die. I don't even see why they're trying to be sneaky about it, man. Just do it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. All these complaints, man. See what they say. All right, TTA family. So, came over here to the uh, North Ridge Police Department. Uh, definitely getting ready to go in here and file some official complaints on them officers, especially the one that threatened the rest. Uh, we already know, obviously, they don't have no jurisdiction on their property. Young lady was all over the place with, oh, man, this is not federal. I say so as a state. I, I don't know. I, what, what do you mean? How can, man, look, we for to go in here, see if we could talk to a higher up. Y'all already know how I do. Talk to a higher up, see if we could file an official complaint, request those guys body cam footage, just put them on notice what actually occurred, you know what I mean, the violations that just took place. So let's go see. Hello. Yes, uh, you guys, uh, it's been conveyed to me that you guys, this department, don't have lieutenants. Is that correct? No, we have really? Oh, wow. Officer, okay, someone just told me that you guys only had like sergeants or something. Sergeants, sergeants of course. Now, well, I need, is there one available? I need to speak with uh, not a sergeant, but a, like someone of a higher authority, a lieutenant, uh, um, even deputy chief would be great. Okay, I, don't know. I have some complaints, some official complaints to file and I need to basically allow someone of a higher authority basically let them know what just occurred okay yeah hold on a second let me take a look all right appreciate it all right thanks a lot what's your name ma'am huh? what's your name karen. karen thanks a lot all right so obviously someone's gonna come out and speak with us uh we'll see pretty uh pretty small lobby here 
wait for them to come out and see what they say. How you doing today, sir? Are you the deputy chief? How you pronounce your name, sir? Shober. Shober, yeah. Shober, sir. I want to make sure I get that right. Okay. Uh, no, uh, we, yeah, we can. Yeah. Probably right. It's right here. Cool, because it's, kind of, it's, it's like 90 today. <laughs> yeah, uh, real quick, uh, Deputy Chief, uh, I was out over there at the um, Immigration Building Application Center. I can't remember what street. Yeah. Okay. And I was just coming in trying to grab some FOIA requests and um, document um, that agency. Okay. That's correct. And document the building as well. I conveyed that to the personnel that works there. Um, they had, they did, I'm going to be honest with you, they did have signs around saying, like, no recording devices. However, I tried to explain to them our, in terms of our First Amendment right on public property, especially being a government federal building, that I had a right to do it. And according to a CFR, even it's a code of federal federal regulations that allows us to do it, uh, they weren't interested. So uh, the personnel there called three police officers there from you guys' department. Okay. And um, they basically wanted to, I can't remember their names. Actually, I need to get their names as well so I can get their body. You got you have body cams on. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, but obviously, I need their names to file an official complaint because one of the officers there might have been Watts. Did you guys have an officer named Watts yeah. here? Black guy? Yes. Okay, I remember his name. He was the main one stating that if I didn't leave, I would be arrested for trespassing. So under threat of arrest and duress, I left. Um, I know that he can't. I asked them too specifically, do you do, do the Norris Police Department have a contract with this agency in order to come on this property and enforce federal regulations? And he was confused. He was like, uh, like, basically, I don't understand the question. But I mean, he should have because he's not a federal officer, obviously. And uh, FPS would have been the appropriate authority. Uh, I just wanted to ba basically come in here and put you on notice of your officer's conduct. It was three of them. And um, I need to uh, move forward with a complaint for sure because obviously my rights were violated today. What part of it, um, just so I can recap it for me. Okay. They want, I'll recap it so for, just from your perspective. Okay. So you were at the INS Immigration Help Center, correct? That's correct. The application center, right. And you went there for whatever reason. Right. They At one point they asked you to leave? Or they asked you to they, stop I, recording or they asked you to leave? Both. Stop recording and leave. Okay. And when they asked you to leave, did you comply or no? Oh, I complied when the officers came in and threatened me with arrest if I didn't okay. leave. Okay, so after after you left, that's correct. Did they treat you? Did they yell at you, scream at you, or anything like that? Mm, well, the officers. Yeah. No. Okay. No, they Anything didn't. physical? Though? No. No. Okay. Nothing was physical. Just just a violation of the threat of arrest. Uh, well, that was it. Okay. And it was kind of. I know that you said it was public property, but it's private property over there. Well, it's public. The only reason what makes it public is is it's a federal government agency. Inside the INS, the exact part of it, or were you in the like the Vestu public area at the time? I was in the public area, like I was okay. directly, like like if you walk right here, like this young man's gonna do. I stayed right there. I didn't even walk past the ropes, literally. Wait, no. uh, how you doing today, sir? Hi. How are you? All right. And and to be perfectly honest, which one of the personnel, young ladies, like the supervisor there, yeah. she even told me she was like, you know what? At the end, she was like, just stay on this side of the ropes. Don't come this way. And I did. So I, it was like she was basically saying, if you stay on those ropes, you're good to go. I stayed there and was still asked to leave. <laughs> Who's the supervisor there that asked you to leave? I can't. I can't remember the other one. It was two ladies, but the one of them was I think her name. She said her name was Officer Ramos or something like that. Okay. Latino lady. Okay. But she. That's the one that also said stay on this side of the ropes okay. while recording. So. I'll, uh, I'll take your complaint. Do you want to leave your name at all? Uh. It, well, do you guys don't have complaint forms? Yeah, however you want to do it. Okay. Take it out yeah, however you want to do it. Right? Okay. Yeah. I, uh, if you leave me stuff, you're not leaving stuff, I will get it. Yeah, I mean, yes, because one of the cops, and that's another thing at the end when I was getting ready to pull out the parking lot, um, obviously they wanted to know who I was, so I've seen them walking past from the back of my car, running my plate. I mean, that's unnecessary, uh, Deputy G. Okay. But, I mean, I, I mean, if you guys got a complaint for it, I definitely want to fill it out. What's your name, sir? Uh, James. Wrong. Okay. okay. But but I still can fill out a, I want to fill out a physical, official complaint. I can see what we had. Yeah. Because things changed because of the New Safety Act. Really? Um, there's, we used to have one set of forms, now there's like a different form. Okay. If you give me a minute, I can go back there and check. See what yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, just want to make it, you know, I know, I understand you wrote down the information yeah. and stuff like that. You're going to look into it, Deputy. I appreciate you coming out here having a dialogue with me. Just wanted to put you on notice, but. I definitely want to file an official complaint on paper. I appreciate that. No All right. Go ahead, seat down here. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah, so the deputy chief says he's going to 
look into what he wrote down my information. Uh, still, I just don't want to go off of that. I want to be able to file an official complaint. Uh, he said these officers don't even got this body, you know, this department don't even got body cam footage, body cams. So, wow. But I got everything on video, so we'll see. Oh, okay, good. It took me a while to my computer phone. So, you want to step out here and get to fill out? Or uh, yeah, 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 I'll fill it out. And then, um, what I just do, turn, once I'm done, turn it into a young lady right here? Okay. But they should give me like a stamped copy? No, we don't give any copy. But this is, there's three pages. Describe what happened. This is your information. We're going through all here. Okay. Describe what happened. Gives a continuation page. And then you can sign it. Right. Now, now, real quick, Deputy Chief, you guys don't give copies. Why not? Like, I want to just be able to have a record of the complaint that I filed. I, mean, I could have you give me a copy if you wanted that bad. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted, sure. baby, just to have a record. Sure. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Appreciate that. Do me a favor. Um, if you feel whatever information you want to put on there, so be it. Okay, okay. cool. All right. When you're done, I'll let them know to make a copy for you, and then you can just leave it with them. All right, appreciate it, Deputy Chief. Thanks a lot. All right, so I'm going to fill out this. I'm uh, not at a bit. Well, like uh, after, let me, real quick, the process and when I turn this in, you guys have I do you guys do have a department for IA? No, we do. Well, we don't have like, it's a small department, so we do everything internally. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, so what, I mean, would would you be the one to investigate or? Yes. Sir. Oh, you? Yes. Okay, personally. Okay, good. All right. That's so that'll be it for now. Okay. I appreciate it. Yep. Fill this out real quick, TTA family, and turn it in. All right, TTA family. So we filled out the complaint. Turn this in, let's get a copy. Just need this to be uh, time stamped and uh, copy. Yeah. Appreciate it. TTA family, real quick, how y'all feel about the uh, deputy chief at the end right there when I had asked for a copy? Did you guys notice how he was like, ah, we don't give copies? And then when I persisted with it, he was like, well, you know, if you do want one, how y'all guys feel about that? Do you, you feel like he was just trying to throw some bait out there to make sure I didn't get a copy? I don't know. I feel some type of way a little bit. Feel some type of way about that just a little bit. Even when we were standing right there outside right there, he was kind of like, well, I'll just take your name down and I'll look into the matter like he didn't want me to file an official complaint on paper. I don't know. Am I reaching uh, TTA family or am I spot on? Y'all let me know. So you will forward it over to the deputy chief then? I'll get you down. Okie dokie. All right, you have a good All right, you too. Thanks a lot. <sighs> yeah, so uh, like I was saying, TTA family to get ready to bounce up out of the North Ridge Police Department. Y'all already know. It's another spot we're going to have to do uh, numerous follow-ups and see what the Deputy Chief say. I, don't, I just feel some type of way about the Deputy Chief, but like the whole thing in terms of the whole the whole uh, coming and enforce federal regulations, man. Officer Watts look like he, like, you know, I can understand these cops, man. These cops, they, you know, it's, it's so, they so corrupt, man. They've been getting away from stuff for so long, man. Even when you tell them they violating the law, their attitude is so nonchalant because they get away with it. For so they they just get away with it, been getting away with it for so long. But the thing about TTA is I ain't going. I'm not going. Like I'm not backing down. I'm a, man. They they just don't know. But they 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 about to know. So you know we just go put it like that, man. But uh, TTA family, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one, man. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, man, dude threatened me with arrest, especially on federal property. That's like I say, that's all you would need. And uh, trespassing, uh, real quick, in the state of Illinois right now is not even it's, 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 like they changed the law to where you can't even be arrested. It's just like a citation, a, a ticket, or something like that. But he threatened arrest, so you know, by him being law enforcement, that 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 just won't. You have said, man, you're gonna be ticketed. You're gonna be a citation. You're gonna be. It's gonna get a citation for trespassing. It'd been a little bit different. Even still, would have been a violation, but. He said arrest. So he stepped into a big pile of you already know what. So in any event, man, you know, uh, this is, a, like I said, another uh, spot where we're going to have to do a whole bunch of follow-ups, updates, go check back in with this deputy chief. Like I said, I feel some type of way about him, too. Y'all let me know in the comments, though. But until the next time, man, y'all make sure y'all stay locked in with me, man.